So guys, I am back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video. And today guys, I bring you a brand new encounter, how to trigger it. And it basically solves a puzzle I'm seeing a lot of people are confused about. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I was here by, uh, by my friend on my Discord about an encounter within the Badlands with a dude called Ryan Baxter. Now, I checked it out. The guy wasn't that there for me. And this is on basically my max level character. I checked it out on a brand new character. Wasn't there. Checked it out on a character about level 15. Wasn't there. My friend saw the video. The dude wasn't there for him. Uh, I searched YouTube for the guy. Uh, the only video that was there was the same one my pal watched, which was in a different language. I'm not sure if it could have been French or German. But I translated a bit of what he's saying. And he seems to think you have to complete the game. I think he said twice for this dude to trigger. That can't be the case. That is absolutely can't be the case. So I decided to try and figure it out for myself. So I searched Google for the name Orion Baxter. And it came up with his biography. It says, after pulling off a theft of over 7,000 eddies from an unnamed corporate location in downtown, Ryan Baxter went on the run. Solos, likely a corporate hit squad, would use an associate contact, uh, Case and Hess, to message Baxter into revealing his location. However, Baxter would not play along. He would later run into car trouble at Laguna Bend after his Ford and Colby C125. Uh, his engine would overheat. So this got me thinking, guys. His car overheating? in Laguna Bend within the Badlands. I remember on my playthrough on PC, I did a side mission for a girl called Claire Russell. We first uh, meet real early on in the Afterlife Club. A side mission is called A Beast in Me. The very first part of this mission is for you to do a race within the Badlands. So it made sense to me to go back, which I will say on, this, on my main character on Xbox, I hadn't done this yet. So I did the first part. After I'd won the race, I asked her to give me a lift back to her garage or garage, 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 you know. Once this happened, guys, I fast traveled back to the Badlands. I drove up to Lake Farm, the Lake Farm fast travel uh, point you can see on the map right here. And you can see, guys, if you come back down, the guy now appears. So this is 100% the trigger of how you can get Ryan Baxter to actually spawn in. It's actually quite an interesting engagement with him if you go anywhere near him guys he just tries to take you out he really does um what's even more interesting in is the, the amount of eddies he has on him too which is pretty cool uh, you know what we can do with these which i'm going to make another video on anyway if i can try and pull it off <laughs> trying to find a trunk but either way you also get a tape which you can read you'll see this on the screen now what i will say is guys don't get in this car you get in this car ba boom Yes, you heard that right. And you're actually going to see that on screen now. But yes, guys, this is how you trigger the Ryan Baxter encounter within Cyberpunk 2077. And there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.